In this video, I'm going to show you seven ways you can work faster in Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey, what's up guys, Drool here. And as you can see, this is another tips and tricks video. Since you guys really liked the last video about common Photoshop mistakes, I'm making it a series. You can expect at least one tips and tricks video every month. Also, if you want to check out that video, you can click here on the screen or you can click the link in description. Now let's start this video. Tip number one, the little things. Do you know to open new document, we go to file and open. Well, instead of doing that, you can double click in the middle and it will open up the dialog box and then you can double click on the photo to open the photo. Also to unlock your background, we normally double click and then hit OK. But instead of doing that, you can hold your alt key and option if you're using Apple and then double click and it will unlock it directly. It doesn't save time but puts you in a mood to, you know, work faster. Also let's talk about brush. I'm gonna select my brush tool. The most common thing we do with brush is make it bigger and smaller or make it harder and softer. And to do that, we right click and then we do it. It's fine but we can make it a little bit faster. Use your bracket keys to make your brush bigger or to make it smaller. And to make your brush softer or harder, again use your bracket key, but this time with shift key. So I'm gonna hold my shift key and then when I use my bracket keys, it makes my brush softer. Look at this. And then I again hold my shift key and use another bracket key, it makes it harder. See? You can also do it with your mouse click. Just hold your alt key and then hold your right click on the mouse. And then when you drag your mouse upwards, it will make it softer. And then when you drag it down, it makes it harder. I drag it to the left and it makes the brush smaller and I drag it to the right and it will make the brush bigger. Number two, rotating your canvas. Now actually a lot of people don't know that you can rotate your entire canvas in Photoshop. I'm not talking about image. That will be you press Ctrl T, then you right click and rotate 90 clockwise. I'm not talking about this. You can hold your R key and then use your mouse click to like rotate entire canvas. And this is really useful, especially when you're trying to draw or paint something. Let's say I wanna draw something, so I can uh, use my brush, draw something, and then again hold my R key and click on reset view, and it becomes normal. So if you have a hard time drawing or painting something, or even during retouching, this is super useful. And another trick you can do, when you're trying to rotate it, also hold your shift key. So hold your R, then shift, and then when you drag it, it will snap and you can easily rotate it without messing up. You can also do it manually, like right click here and then select the rotate tool and then rotate it, but that will defeat the purpose <laughs> of working fast. Also just a reminder that no matter what tool you have selected, the R will work. Doesn't matter what you have selected, it will always work, okay? Three, copy images the smart way. Now this one will require a little bit of setup. So I have this photo here and my target is to apply a fake moon here. And to do that normally we will go to our browser and on the stock photo website I will look up for a moon. So I'm going to type in moon. Then I will select moon photo. Then I will download it. And once it is downloaded I will right click. I will go to show in folder. Then I will select my moon. Then I will drag it into Photoshop. Now I can see the if moon actually looks good or not. Then I apply it and I'm like, eh, I don't like it. So I have to go back, uh, close it and find another photo of moon. And this, this takes a lot of time and we can make it a little bit faster. You see, I have a photo of, let's say this moon here, right? I can just right click here and select copy image, then go to my Photoshop and press control V and it will paste that moon here. Uh, then I can just change the blend mode and see that if this moon looks good or not. Now, so this way you can try 10, 15 different photos and when you finally find the pic that you really like, then you can go to browser and actually download it. Four, using all the zoom options. Now typically you have four different methods to zoom inside Photoshop. Number one is you click on this magnifying glass and then you zoom in and this you should never use. It's the worst way to zoom. I recommend that you use Ctrl plus. You can just press Ctrl plus and zoom into the photo or you can press Ctrl minus to zoom outside. Also now let's say you zoom too much and you wanna go back to normal directly. Just press Ctrl zero and it will fit everything in the frame. 
another technique i really like to use is you hold your control key and then your space key and then you drag your mouse like this and you can zoom in and zoom out super super fast and another trick that i like to do is you go to edit then you go to preferences and here you select tools and in the tools make sure that zoom with scroll wheel is uh, turned on then you hit ok and after that when you scroll uh, it will zoom in and zoom out number five working smart with the layers now for this we have a setup ready i created a document and then i have eight different photos on eight different layers and the problem is that none of them are named properly it's pretty common scenario happens a lot now let's say i want to make photo of this cow black and white how do i do that normally we will have to go turn on and off all of the layers until we found find the photo of cow right but instead of doing that just select your move tool and then hold your control key and click on the cow and photoshop will automatically activate the photo of cow then you can just press you know control shift u and make the photo black and white and it will work on any photo let's say we want to make uh, this photo of kid black and white right so hold your control key and click on the kid and photoshop will automatically activate the kid layer and then you can go and press control shift u and make the photo black and white so this can save you a lot of time when you have a lot of layers not only that let's say we have this layer zero right and i want to move it up normally we use mouse to move it up but you can also use your control key and then use your bracket keys to move layers up and down and it's a little bit convenient also let's say i want to make copy of layer zero normally i will press control j and it's completely fine i do it all the time but i want to make a copy and i want that copy to be at the top in that situation you can hold your control and alt key then take this layer zero and put it at the top so it will make a copy and also you will place it directly at the top it removes one step in between and makes it a little bit faster number six modify multiple text layers at once as you can see here we have another setup in this document i have six different text layers all with different font style size and color now what if i want all of them to have same font color same font style and same size it's actually really easy to do activate your first text layer here then hold your shift key and click the layer at the top make sure all of the text layers are activate are active after that select your type tool then click here on your text editor now when i change font color here it will actually change color of all the text then you can go to your font uh, size here and then click on any font size so let's say 30 so all of them are 30 it's a little too small so let's make it 72 after that you go here and then you select another font so bebas new that looks good and close it so just in five seconds we have all of them with the same font color same style and size not only that let's say we have this once active right and i want it to have black color and we already have black here on the foreground right you can directly press alt backspace and it will apply that color number seven revert this is yet another very useful option that no one uses as you can see here we have the same file from the previous step and you also know that we did a lot of changes in this file right now what if i wanted to reset the entire document and start all over again all you have to do is press f12 and it will reset the entire document and to do it manually let's press ctrl z okay to manually reset it you can go to file and then click on revert so that's pretty much it and i hope that you found at least one of the trick useful if you did hit that like button and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions ask me in comment section below if you want to check out more videos by me you can click on any of these boxes and you can also subscribe to my channel so every time i upload any video you will get the update until then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop